All right, we got a no cooling call here at a customer we've had for probably about 10 years. And, uh, we worked in his other house, and now we're at a new one. I think we had the gate code here. That should get us in. So this is a really nice guy here that, uh, I think this is, this is the way, has a pretty nice house. They're a little bit tight the way they're positioned, um, the, the developers, builders, whoever. They certainly wanted to make the most of the room they had here and still tried to make it a pretty nice place. So, I think they did okay, but some of the houses are a little tight, like down here in this cul-de-sac where this guy lives. It's a bit tight. But that shouldn't hurt us either way. We should be able to get to his unit and get it fixed. I think we've replaced one of them. So it's been a while since I've been here. I think I will recognize it. I do. Yeah. So I'm going to get sideways here. Those are a little close together. All right. Let's see what we can find out. Get our usual three toys here and let's see what we find. All right, looks like we are probably going to have a helicopter here. Front door, so when you call. To yeah, the that's fine. I'll come to the door when I'm ready to oh. turn it on. Okay. But take me a minute to see what's going on here. She's gonna go inside. I've got the cover off here. Compressor starts, but no fan. So let's see. Here we go. Pretty handy right there. Oh yeah, it spins free, so we may get lucky and just need a cap here. Let's see what we can figure out. Uh-oh. Look at that. All kinds of bees. like a pretty dead nest I don't see any of them alive boy this is not real exciting to find that those look like yellow jackets too boy, them little things are ornery So let's pull this cap out and check it and see if we get lucky here today. All right, she's dead.
Got our brown for fan. And there's two on the Hermetic. That's because uh, we have the start assist from the factory here on this particular unit. And then on the common, we have the purple from the fan. And then, of course, this red jumper is what's bringing power over. out pretty quick if we have a bad cap which would be advantageous and a stroke of luck because if that's all that's wrong boy look at that lead anyway if that's all that's wrong here She ain't doing much. 0 0.480 something, okay. The hermetic side. Wow. So that compressor was just starting on the start assist and nothing else. This cap here is dead as a doornail. Let's get one. All right, we've got a Mars. USA, of course. And I really do believe in these. And that's why I use them. exclusively so we're going to put our common on there first i'm going to add the purple from the fan then let's put our two hermetics on then for the fan. And I think these older trains had better motors and stuff on them. I mean, that's just that's just me thinking out loud. I ain't positive of that. We're gonna find out in just a second if she fires right up. And I really hope it does. Today is Saturday. And I have quite a few to get to today. Tiptoe around the bees here. Boy, that would have been rough to open that and all those were live. I think I could have got through there pretty quick. A little tough squeezing through that. Okay. Please, Mr. Fan, come on. Yep. So I'm going to go back to the door and have her turn it on. She is very particular about her house. Pretty nice place, so I don't blame her at all. Definitely have to take your shoes off to go inside. And I have no problem with that, but I'll just let her turn it on. I'll come around here and see if this thing putting hot air out of the top. And then I will inquire at that point if 
they want any further servicing. Now for you guys that make all these comments, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, put your gauges on, do this, check that, check this, I check everything, wah, 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 whatever. I work for the customer. And I do what I can to keep their bill down. This is a, I don't know, 17, 18 year old R22 unit. I'm not going to make them spend any money they don't have to spend. If it fires up and is putting nice warm or even hot air out of the top, I'm gonna leave it alone unless they ask for more and I'll you know I'll let them know my opinion and where it stands and what I think about it and that is I wouldn't give it any money if I didn't have to here's the one we put in 2017 date okay A little bit of water to dodge here. Okay, she turned it on. So let's go see what we got. And I think I hear it, or at least one of them. Oh yeah, that's it. It's working pretty well. That's good and warm already coming out of the top. So I'm gonna go talk to her and offer to do a full service if that's what they want. Not necessarily gonna advise it. It's a uh, older R22 unit. I'd say we run it till she dies, you know. But if they want anything further done, then I certainly will. But I'm gonna let them make that decision and let them control how much their bill is today so that's the reason for that okay so the homeowner would actually be more interested in replacing it than putting more money into it so as per my advice we're just going to leave it alone for now and possibly look at replacing that system in the fall after the season is over and of course try to get a 410A system in before the new ridiculous A2L laws take effect and we're stuck with another silly refrigerant change I tell you what, this one coming up, it is just, I just don't see any good out of it. I don't, I don't, it makes no sense at all, but that's another discussion for another day. And uh, we're going to keep moving. Uh, we've got quite a few stops today, so I'm glad that one went quick and easy. And honestly, I'm glad we didn't have to do a full check and clean on it. Not really worth it, in my opinion. But the customer has got what the customer wanted. They paid us. We're happy. Let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.